Let's play Colonization. We will leave Europe, sailing across Oceanus Occidentalis, Western Ocean. And we will sail around many nautical hazards. Like that sea dragon thing. We will find our new home. Where our ship takes us. That terra incognita kind of looks like Antarctica. But that wouldn't make any sense. That sea monster kind of reminds me of Puff the Magic Dragon. All right, we made it. We're in the new world. Oh, that was abrupt. So this is Colonization for Windows. There's another game, which is pretty much the same game, Colonization. And this is, a, as the date says, from 1995. Col uh, colonization is from 1994. And, um... Well, they're very similar games. This one runs in a higher resolution. The DOS version has some more menus, a couple of extra features. It looks different. Uh, the saved games are interchangeable. I might drop in there a little bit just to look around, but I'm going to be playing Colonization for Windows. And um, so we have the standard civilization type of options here. We can generate a world, we can customize a world, for instance how wet we want it to be, how big we want the land masses, that kind of thing. Or we can start a game in America, which is what I'm going to be doing this time. There's Pi. I don't really know what this does besides determine how how difficult dealing with the other Europeans is. I'll just go with moderate. Hopefully that won't come back to bite me. And we have to choose our nation. Unfortunately, the game doesn't say what you get from the nations until after you've selected them. England gets more immigrants, more colonists. France gets a trade bonus with Indians, relationship bonus, they get more people from the Indians. Oh, that's cool. Spain gets a conquest bonus with Indians, not with other Europeans, of course, but they get more gold from burning Indian villages. You could make a lot of money that way, actually, with Spain. And the Netherlands gets higher prices by trading with Europe. So I usually go for England. I think France is decent, but I've seen some other people playing France on YouTube, so I'm going to go with England. Spain just kind of makes me angry, and the Netherlands isn't that interesting, so I'm going to go with England. I'm not saying I wouldn't play Spain now and then just to, you know, loot and burn, but you got to draw a line somewhere. And I'm going to be Hunter. And here's a wall of text. Major expansion coincided with the period of religious strife in England. 
Puritans and religious strife, etc., etc. Et religious freedom for Puritans. And, uh, so, religious freedom, colonies, Puritans. Sound familiar? This is the bonus that the English player gets. They only need two-thirds as many crosses, which are kind of like the shields for immigrants, shields from civilization, to generate immigrants. So essentially what this means is the English player gets 33% more people to work with, more colonists, which is huge. It's a lot of people. It's more than we need, but you know, we'll try and find something to do with them. Excellent. Hail Britannia! Fare thee well, England. This is, whoops. <clears throat> this is the hmm, map. And for once, it looks like I'm not starting the polar regions. I've done this recording a couple of times, but for technical reasons, it was not to be. Somewhere around here. Ah, there it is, the new world. Look at that guy, he's so excited. Land ho! I up scurvy! I'll call the place New England because I don't like making funny names. Um, there's actually some animations in this game, but you won't see them here because my computer is too fast to show them to you. The game is not um, protected mode. And I tried um, emulating Civilization for Windows in Windows 3.1 in DOSBox, which works, but it doesn't record well. So, I'm doing it this way. I don't really love it, but... Eh. It's a compromise. Alright. I... Ah. Uh, this looks like South America. I have to find a place to settle. We've got a soldier, a pioneer, and a caravel. So, I'm gonna go... This way. <laughs> and at this great river, our ships cannot navigate up this river, Excellency. Hey, your gun's kind of in the way. All right, so we'll get out here. Hopefully these natives won't eat us. They generously occupy the land we now occupy and want peace. How lovely. It's the Tupi. And I can't go into that square, so I'll just go this way. And I'm going to explore up the coast a little bit. I don't think this is a great place to settle. 
No ore, you see. Expert lumberjacks due to religious unrest in England. What else is new? Lumberjacks. Don't they get twice as much lumber as everyone else? That's not really helpful. Lumberjack. Uh, these are not. This is not the right. Pioneer, soldier. Uh, no, no, no. That's not the right. The screen. This is the Europe. This is the European trading screen. We were just here four years ago. Remember? We were sailing away. Well, now there's a lumberjack waiting for us. We can trade things here, and when we have gold, we can buy all sorts of goodies. We can pay the passage for these people if we have the gold. And this figure, 180 gold, fluctuates with the number of crosses needed to produce the next emigrant. We can buy things, which is very useful. And we can train people if we have more money than we have cents. Which we just might at some point. So now I can sail to England and get those lumberjacks. I'd kind of like to find a place to settle a colony. Oh, there's the, those are the French right there. Let me see. French pioneers, French soldiers. Yeah. If we were the French, we wouldn't be so far south. I don't like being so far south. All right, go to England. And I don't really know what to do with this colonist, <laughs> to be honest. I'm just struggling to find a place on the map where I can get ore that is adjacent to the ocean, and I'm not really finding it. Rivers allow us to move more quickly. All right, our caravel is here. Unfortunately, we don't have any gold, so we can't buy anything. All we can do is grab this lumberjack and go. Fair enough. Fair enough. And I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I probably won't found a colony until... 1650 or something crazy like that. I shouldn't explore this far away. Alright, so this is kind of a terrible place for a colony, but I just want to get a colony started, so I'm going to put Jamestown in this horrible desert location. How's that sound? Oh, I can't do it. It's too bad. It's, the land is horrible. Meanwhile, this caravel is going to leave those other guys high and dry, unfortunately. I just have to find a place to settle. Well, that's not great, but... Wait a second, that's the only forest available. This is a horrible place to settle. What on earth am I thinking? I'm thinking I have to settle somewhere. Alright, seriously? I am not settling here. I refuse to do it. One. Da, 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 da. I will settle right here with this lumberjack. Because I can clear these rainforests and get ore from the ground. It's not a great solution, but it's something. And these guys just wasted a whole bunch of time. Unfortunately. Out of my way, France! France has already got cargo, and I'm just struggling to find a place to settle. Bit Plymouth? Eh, whatever. Good work, guys. You're building a colony. Finally. What is this? What is this red spot here? You got to be kidding me. Is there another Is there another nation right next to me? This is horrible. This is a horrible diseased little nation that I'm building. And these these little funny looking red things are totem poles, I think. And the Tupi want that land. So, 
I didn't know there was a native camp right there. I didn't know. I'm just gonna cut wood, I guess, for now. We need wood in order to build things. And look at all the goodies we have inside our, our new colony. We have a town hall, a weaver's house, a fur trader's house, rum distiller's house, carpenter shop, blacksmith's house, and tobacco. So we can actually make stuff here. For instance, at the tobacconist's house, if we had tobacco, which we do not, and a guy who could live in this town without starving to death, which we also do not have, we could put him here, and he would make cigars at the tobacconist's house. Master blacksmiths. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one to have. Of course, we don't have any tool uh, ore. This is what the, the, the master blacksmith does. He makes tools from ore. Oh, and now that we're producing Liberty Bells in our town, we can grab people for our Continental Congress, such as Adam Smith. Allows factory level buildings to be built. Factories, well, that's nice, but we're not really there yet. Ooh, I didn't want that. Henry Hudson. More fur. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get Henry Hudson. I don't think so. Paul... Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Well, it looks like Paul Revere is going to join the Continental Congress then. Paul Revere. What the heck does Paul Revere do? When a colony with no soldiers is attacked, a colonist takes up any stockpiled muskets in defense of the colony. Oh, yes, because I always have muskets lying around. <laughs> ah, what a disaster. I've got to go collect my men. And this guy has to go to Plymouth. Oh, look, the Toopy are giving us fur. How nice of them. That's a nice hat you have there. You make it from banana leaves or something? One, two, three, four. Oh, horrible. This is not supposed to happen. Alright. Get in! We sail for Plymouth. The price of furs rose. Do we have furs? Yes, the Toopy gave us furs. And we have 40 lumber. 40 tons of lumber. Alright. Huh. This probably is not good. Look at that guy. He's pointing at us. And we're pointing at him. New France! This isn't New France! This is New England! You seem to be confused, my good man. His Most Christian Majesty King Louis is confused! Our king is disturbed by the large English forces lurking outside our French colonies. Absolutely not! We propose a demarcation treaty. What sort of... Oh, look at that! Your, your weak little town is right next to mine. Taking my... Sp taking my land. I will not agree to this partition of, of English and French spheres of influence. In the name of the king, we shall drive you from the shores of New England. So that probably wasn't the greatest idea ever, but... Ah, ha, ha. <gasps> Give me that! But this town is sort of infringing on our town, and this is actually a great location for, for a uh, town, but... What is this? Hardy Pioneers. Ooh, Hardy Pioneers. I gotta do a... Uh, look, these guys have rum, ore... I've got to grab some of these things before I abandon this town. Which, by the way, I'm doing. <laughs> I'm abandoning. The capital A. And the Toopy is giving us coats! Wow! They are generous. Next time on Let's Play Colonization... We... 
continue our campaign, quote-unquote, against the French. 